Check out what showed up in the mail today. Woo woo. All right, let's open her up. All right, here's the postcard. This is my second box, by the way. Scribbler writing contest. All right, so interestingly enough, they do have writing contests, but um, yeah, what are these three themes found in your book? What is the main idea? What is the main one? Uh, we'll select one winner to receive a bonus gift. Um, entries close uh, October 15th. Now, maybe I'm mistaken, and if I am, please let me know in the comments, but I believe if you enter their contests, um, they're not free to enter. There's an entry fee for the contest. So uh, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, this is like, you know, something free, but <laughs> it's not really. So so that's not quite as exciting as, as it was when I first saw it um, in the first box. Here's some stuff. All right, let me, let me move this aside. We have some ballpoint pens. Onyx green, onyx green, ballpoint pens. Um, I'm not sure what's special about them. Back, black ink, okay. Refillable, rechargeable, recart cartridgeable. <laughs> All right. Oh, so they're, they're pens that you can reuse. That's nice, so they're not, that's okay. That's a eco-friendly, that's nice. Uh, coffee bean, coffee bean. I'm not sure why they're, co why they're coffee bean. I, I don't understand that. Um, but okay, they're, they're pens that you can refill. That's nice. And then we have a little bit of, oh, a snickerdoodle. Wheat and gluten-free cookie. Oh, okay. That looks delicious. And let's see, what is this? Oh, so this is handy. It's a little miniature stapler. There's some uh, dust on it, but it is a little stapler. 200 staples. Okay, that's handy. All right, and then this looks like the... These are the little booklets. They always have uh, one of these little, they call it a passport. And then this, this talks about the box, what's inside the box. And there's usually something here about the author. Um, and yeah, a little chapter. So it's information. This is all the stuff that's in the box. I don't want to look at that right now. <laughs> I'll look at it at the end. Um, this is the passport. This is going to talk about voice two. So voice. Okay. Interesting. Um, I have read the one on character from the previous box and I did like it. All right. What else we have in here? We have, um, another postcard. Join us for an exclusive chat. Um, so yeah, these are live chats. The next one is going to be October 6th, 3 PM Eastern time. Not sure what I'm doing October 6th at that time, but I will check. Senior editor Chris Werner, Lake Union Publishing. Senior editor Chris Werner edits historical and contemporary book club fiction. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I might, I will probably try to make that. And then what else? Oh, the little book plate. Hmm, this looks interesting. All right, now I think that's everything. Wait a minute, hold on, what's this? This is a, oh, a little patch. Almost missed that. So this is a little embroidery, uh, little patch that looks like a typewriter. That is cute. I, I wonder if it's iron-on. Hmm. Oh, I like that. That would be cute to put on something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure what I'll put it on, but that is super, super cute. All right, let's get to the book. I think that's, yeah, that's all the goodies. Now the book, Big Chicas, Big Chicas Don't Cry, Annette Chavez Masia. All right, so the back says, Cousins Mari, Erica, Selena, and Gracie are inseparable. They aren't just family, but friends, but best friends, sharing secrets, traditions, and a fierce love for their abuelita, which I'm totally killing that. <laughs> Not. But their idyllic childhood ends when Mari's parents divorce, forcing her to move away. With Mari gone, the girl's tight-knit bond unravels. Hmm. Okay, this looks something like I would read. This looks like a book I would pick out uh, on my own to read, which is cool. Um, I like it. In fact, I did already finish reading the book that was in last month's box, Yay Me, that was The Druid. Um, I need to do a review on that for my channel, even though I guess, from what I can tell, um, book reviews aren't like super cool on... <laughs> 
book two, but I'm doing them anyway. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. Now I do have another book that I want to read before this one, but this looks super, super interesting. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's chunky. It's chunky. How many pages? Oh, it's a little too over 300. That's not bad. That's about the size of, of a good book to me is a uh, 300 or so pages. Nice. All right. I, this is nice. Okay. Very happy again with the box. Um, whoo. This, this stuff, I don't know. I mean, I guess they have to put something in there to, um, you know, cushion the stuff in the box, but it's a bit messy. Um, but otherwise, I would say everything else in here is, yeah, I like you, like you, like you. So here's what it said. Uh, Big Chicas Don't Cry by Annette Chavez Masia is a family drama about four cousins navigating love, loss, and the meaning of family. Okay, we have The Passport. And there's an article, okay, so yeah, the, so the passports typically, I guess from what I understand, have um, like an essay or an article or something written by the author of the book that's in the box, so that's pretty cool. Of course, we have the chat with the editor, um, the publishing process, that's what this little, little booklet is, uh, the mini stapler, the pens. These ballpoint pens are made from recycled ground coffee beans. Okay. All right, so that's why there are coffee beans. Okay, huh, interesting. Uh, yes, you heard that right. Coffee beans never have, ne has coffee has never been more essential to the writing process. That's funny. And interestingly enough, I am not a coffee drinker. I'm a tea drinker, but that's kind of cool. And then the cookie and the iron-on patch. It is iron-on, okay. Oh, that's very cute. All right, yeah, give us another thumbs up. Yay, Scribbler. Um, boy, you guys have me. You got me hooked, Scribbler, Dibbler. Love it, love it, love it. Yay, yay, yay. I cannot wait to crack this book open. Um, boy, and I typically, I'm not really good at reading. I usually have like a nonfiction book and a fiction book um, that I'm reading and then a fiction book on my Audible. So I usually have like three books going at once. I'm not really good at two books if they're both fiction. It's too, like my brain can't handle it. But boy, am I tempted. This looks like a really good book. It looks like a fun, easy read. Um, yeah, it definitely looks interesting. All right, guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think of all of this in the Scribbler box. And as usual, I always appreciate you stopping by to see what's on my bookshelf. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.